Professor Leslie Regan, scientist, doctor and consumer, has been shopping for her perfect, scientifically backed supermarket products. The two non-food products she's looked at, low temperature washing powders and antibacterial cleaners, are both worth their place in her trolley. It's the food products that were a problem. Well, I think what we've discovered is that we're all rather impressed by scientific terminology. And I think the food manufacturers know that. And not surprisingly, they use that um, to impress us and encourage us to buy their product. Whereas the scientists, I think, were a lot less certain about what the value of these foodstuffs were. There is enough scientific evidence to include cholesterol-lowering products. But Prof. Regan is rejecting probiotics, organic food, and the idea of superfoods. So I think one of the useful things we could advise people when they're trying to assess whether they're going to buy this product or that product or whether this is going to improve their health or be beneficial to them is that when the manufacturer says this can or it could do something it would be useful for them to ask the question as the buyer well, why doesn't it tell me that it's been proven to work in which case there would have to be a trail of science to support that claim so to can or could um, I think that's a bit too woolly